Hi, in this video I wanted to show some results of testing different developing times of Ilford FP4 ISO 125 film. I've not used this film much in my photography so I wanted to test it and I went out to shoot the same subject five times with exactly the same exposure but then developed the five sheets of film with different developing time starting from half the recommended development time and this will be about an n minus two development up to normal development time and then n plus two that is uh, twice the recommended development time and with this there should be some difference in brightness of the image in density and especially contrast so let's go to the computer and see how these different images look like so let's start first looking at the negatives we have that from the slower development time uh, it's a much thinner negative and then it gets more and more dense by increasing the development time as expected and then if we start looking at the various pictures uh, this is the n minus 2 we have that the areas in the shadows in this part of the area they're pretty muddy uh, and the mid-tone here in the building uh, also not too much separation between the tones definitely signs of underexposure but on the other hand the bright sky was pretty flat but we, we get some information on all areas of the sky if we get to n minus one definitely looks more of a brighter image the shadows are opening up a little bit get more local contrast in the mid-tone and we start to lose information on the bright sky going to normal development normal contrast uh, it's a pretty balanced image um, everything is there the shadows mid-tones sky looks pretty blank but you know it was a pretty overcast day so not much there we get some some information on some areas of the sky if we start to look at the overdeveloped images here it's definitely getting more brighter here the mid-tones now they bleed into the highlights ton of local contrast here in the graffiti actually like this quite a bit and the sky is getting too more and more compressed into total white if we get to the final one now we're really pushing contrast the sky is a complete blank slate uh, but um, we have a very very bright overall feeling bright building super open shadows overall a bit a little bit kind of a hot feeling image and then maybe we can take a look at grain because by increasing the development time we should increase the grain let's see this is the underdeveloped image grain does not have time to develop in fact it looks pretty smooth i cannot see any grain here uh, maybe let's jump to the normal development now so now i can maybe see a little bit of very fine grain which is typical of this kind of film it's still nothing but if we go to the n plus 2 now the overdeveloped image you can see that there is uh, quite a bit of grain so maybe let's uh, look at all of them uh, one by one we have n minus 2 n minus 1 n n plus 1 n plus 2 i think only n plus 2 start to really show a little bit of grain with this film but absolutely not a problem for the huge size of the negative uh, that we have overall i probably like most somewhere uh, between the n plus 1 and the n development time uh, in this case for this kind of image there isn't much information on the sky but uh, anyway it was an interesting sky to start with so it's just better to have a little bit more local contrast in the mid-tones uh, without um, you know getting too hot like in this case n plus 2 start to look a little bit disturbing a little bit too uh, bright in my opinion 
have two footnotes uh, to complete the discussion. One is kind of some details on the development and the exposure. First, the exposure. Uh, actually, these, these negatives were all overexposed by one stop, which I typically do. Um, and in this case, this uh, darkest area here was placed in zone 4. Uh, the Midtons here in zone 6 and the sky, uh, I think it fell at zone uh, 9. And having a little bit of overexposure, it's typically good when one wants to move contrast because there is just a little bit more information in the negative, more sensitized silver that one can then affect by changing the exposure. Typically good to overexpose to get more flexibility uh, when developing the film. And the developer was uh, HC110, Kodak HC110 at dilution, at dilution 1248, and the development time were 3.5 minutes, 5 minutes, 7 minutes, 10 minutes, 14 minutes. A second food no footnote unrelated to the development time, but still related to the development process, is that for the particular setup that I had in this test, uh, I developed the sheets of film in a tray, and um, I did not rotate the sheets, but I just um, you know, kept them uh, with the same orientation, just pulling them at different times, uh, to get the different uh, exposure times, and uh, I noticed that there are some area, like in this part here, where the development wasn't really uniform. So this part, it's a little bit less developed than the rest of the film. And I think this is due to the fact that I was not rotating the sheets of film while developing them. So it's a good idea when you're developing a tray to rotate uh, the sheets of film. 180 degrees every now and then to get more of a uniform development. But you see that in this case, by developing all of them uh, without rotations, always in the same direction, there is some directionality. So this area is less developed. Maybe this area also a little bit. Now it's this part, this film uh, probably was facing the opposite direction. Uh, again, this part is a little bit darker. This one actually looks um, pretty, a little bit more homogeneous, which makes sense because this was developed for 14 minutes, so it really spent a lot of time in the bath, and maybe all of the film had time to develop. So yeah, just um, this is something that I do typically in all my developments, that I rotate the sheets of film 180 degrees halfway through the development, but I didn't do it in this particular test because I was just worried about pulling the films at different times to get this appropriate series of development times. Uh, that's all. Have a nice day.